Hi guys, it's Claris and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to create feathers. Um, and these will be Lucy feathers as per my normal style. And uh, to begin, I've just drawn a base rough sketch of uh, a wreath. And I have two feathers on this wreath right here. And so um, what I've also done is I have mixed some colors right here. I have like a bluey purple and then I have more of a wine purple going on. And for brushes, I am going to be using a thin six, like a regular round six, and then the silver black velvet four. And so we're going to begin. So to begin with, I'm just going to make sure that I have my brush. Um, let me see if I can show you my palette. <clears throat> I'm just going to make sure that I have my brush right here and I've dipped it in water. And I'm going to go ahead and get some color off my, off my palette. And I'm going to use the more reddish, pinkish one. And then, actually before I do that, I'm just going to take the four, the number four, and wet this area really quickly. And I've created this shape which is like tapered at the end and then broad at the, at the top. And I'm just going to quickly put in some water there. As I near the center line, I'm just going to keep a little bit of blank um, like space just making sure that I don't touch it with water and then I'm gonna go ahead with this and just apply some color and I'm gonna start from the edges so it kind of seeps in nicely and then it gives you that nice look. Then I'm going to go back in with my number four. Make sure I have some water on it. And then I'm just going to pull what I have from here up. And just take it over on the other side. And then I'm applying more water on the other side. And I'm taking it all the way down to the bottom. And then I'll take some of the other purple that I have from my palette and I'm just going to add that oops, at the edges. And then dipping more water on my brush, I'm just going to continue adding that color as it has that nice romantic kind of faded look to it. And I like how that this dab of purple has added some interesting um, variation to it. So I'm going to add that over here as well. Just at the bottom, maybe a little bit at the top. At the center, just a very slight bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take my red velvet, sorry, black velvet, red velvet. Thinking about cake, guys. and lightly dip it in the purple that I had and I'm just going to create the texture of light feathers. Let's see what happens if I don't take any water and I just kind of an empty brush so to speak and just do this not bad I'm gonna take some of the color again and this time I'm just gonna move my hand so you guys can still see I'm gonna go higher and see how adding extra color has kind of given it a little more of a, like you can extend the bottom and have it a little more fluffy, so to speak. 
And then I'm just going to kind of end that fluffiness over there. Just add some more water to my brush and just go ahead on this side as well. Now if you have a thinner brush, I suggest using a thinner brush. It might just work a lot better than what my number four is doing for me right now. Um, so I say, yeah, try that. And you might be surprised, you might actually like the results. So I'm taking some of the bluish purple and I'm just going at the top And I am doing this just again it's just light strokes and making sure you're getting the tip of your brush and you're just going at it okay now I'm just going to take off all the color from my brush and just go in the middle and do that and then I am going to go back, get more purple, and just kind of work a little more on the strokes at the top because I'm not that pleased with it. So I'm just ever so slightly just gonna work on it just a little bit more. All right. And adding some more. Now I'm just going to let this dry for a bit. So let's just wait for it to dry ever so slightly. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of my purple that I have right here. And while that is drying, I'm just going to get a very nice concentrated amount of this purple. And I'm going to go at the tip, tips of these. Like a little pattern almost. Not all over, just here and there. And then slightly here as well. And then a little bit more here. So you know how some of the feathers have textures? So that's what I'm trying to do here. Create a feather with interesting textures. And then I'm just doing some at the bottom as well. To go very lightly. You can do some in the middle if you want to. However you feel works for you, okay? And I'm gonna end that right there. Because I'm pleased with how this has turned out. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the center line, which is missing. just a couple of strands of this here at the end and that is my feather if you feel like your edges need some work you can just go ahead and do it um, I feel mine could use some work but I'm not gonna push it so I'll just leave it for the sake of this tutorial and once this is dried we're gonna do this other version right here so let's just wait a few seconds for that. All right, I think we're good to go for the next one. Um, just to really quickly give this line a little more definition, I will, actually no, let's do this one first, just in case this needs to be dried a tad bit more. Um, so for this, I'm going to be doing like a like a dark black and a grayish blue. They're very dark here, you can't really see them, but when I mix them, this is what they look like. Oops, that's what the blue looks like, that's what the gray black looks like. 
and I'm going to start off with the gray black and making sure that I have enough water on my brush I'm just gonna go down and do the same thing that I did for this one here uh, actually not the same thing because I'm I have color on this and I'm just using the color to kind of go all the way in and up And tapered edge using more color of that black I'm just gonna go ahead and lift the color down or up the feather and taking more water I'm just gonna spread this color to the end leaving a white-ish line in the center. And then I'm gonna go ahead with my, with my blue, and I'm gonna start from the bottom. And then just apply it in areas, just at random. Cause you know how you get some feathers that are like by like two different colors, but it's sporadic all over. Um, and then what I'm going to do is at the edge, at the tip, I'm just going to add a darker blue. So it looks like it's kind of bleeding from the top and going down. So you have a lot of freedom with these feathers because again, they're so pretty and they can be like an abstract piece of um, artwork almost. So have fun with it guys and just make sure you add the, the tips, the feather texture rather. I'm going to add some dark ones at the bottom and then as I go just don't forget the tip and then the key is to make sure that you get these before it completely dries up and just get some nice texture in there uh, I'm gonna wash off the color right now and just use the color that's already here to create some more interesting light feathers here and there just to keep it light and you see how like this kind of looks really extra loose compared to this one because this has a little more feathers going on um, or detailed feathers I should say but yeah um, because there's so many different kinds of feathers you really can try so much with this and even working with the darkness darks and lights here and there just adding some depth to it um, it's kind of really fun um, don't go too crazy though obviously like how I'm doing right now but uh, if you can control yourself um, that's good so anyways I'm gonna leave this right here as soon as my hand gets off the page and this is the feather tutorial guys Hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, stay tuned for another tutorial on the rest of this. Um, in the meantime, please feel free to write your comments below or if you have any questions at all, I'll be happy to answer them um, in the comments below or I am also available on Facebook and Instagram. Guys, follow me there. Um, you'll get a lot of updates on what I'm up to and what's happening in my life, etc. And I'm more than happy to engage with you and also even answer any questions that you might have, issues that you might run across. So let's engage and let's chat. Thanks so much for watching guys and thanks so much for subscribing. If you found this tutorial helpful, um, if you can please also share it on your social media, that would be wonderful. Thanks so much guys and we'll chat soon. Bye.